Hi, my name is Kelly Henry and I'm a registered nurse and a certified diabetes educator. I work for the Center for Excellence here um, in, in Northampton, Mass. Today we're going to talk about how to treat diabetes with insulin. Um, I'm going to show you how to do uh, injection with insulin. We'd have an insulin syringe, we'd have a body where we're going to inject, and then we'd have some type of insulin. We have two kinds of insulin. We have a long-acting insulin that starts to work in um, one to three hours and um, lasts over a 24-hour period. Then we have rapid-acting insulin, which starts to work in 10 to 15 minutes, um, peaks somewhere around an hour, hour and a half, and is gone somewhere around three to four hours. Most people on insulin are going to have a combination of the two, once or twice a day with the long-acting, and then before each meal with the rapid acting. And we have several different ways to deliver insulin. We can deliver insulin with vial and syringe. We can deliver it with an insulin pen um, and the needles that we use for the pens. Or we can also use insulin pens that you actually input a um, cartridge into the uh, pen and reuse the cartridge but throw, I mean reuse the pen but throw away the cartridge when we're done with the um, cartridge. The, the pens that we use most commonly are these that actually have 300 units of insulin in it. Um, when the patient's done with that 300 units, they throw the whole thing away. The way these work is you actually have a needle that you put on the end of the pen, take off the, whoops, take off the cover, take off the tip, and then typically we do, we do what we call an air shot. We dial one to two units of insulin, hold the pen upright, flick any air that might be in the pen up, and then squirt that off. And if we see a good stream of insulin, then we can dial our dose of insulin. If I need 10 units, I would dial it to 10, and then I would inject myself. With a vial and syringe, the way we do it, we pull off this little plastic piece and the cover, and we draw back however many units of insulin we're going to need in air, because first we have to put the air in to match the amount of insulin we're going to take out so we don't create a vacuum in the bottle. Otherwise, we're going to have a hard time after a while trying to get the insulin out. So we take the amount of insulin we need, and I'm going to draw back five units of air, and I'm going to put that in, and put that in, and then flip it over, and I'm going to draw back five units of insulin. If I don't get all the air out, I can try to push this in two or three times, and sometimes we're less likely to get air. Once we draw it back, if we still can't get the air out, what we'll do is have people draw out an extra unit or two. So if I need five, I'm going to draw out six units of insulin, and I'm going to hold it upright and flick it, get that air up into the top, and then I'm going to push it out. Now, the air isn't going to cause any problems as far as um, lethal problems like the movie show, but the air, if we don't have all the air out, we're not getting the full dose of insulin that we need. Once we get the insulin drawn up, we go to our body and we can inject insulin in the belly, the arms, the thighs, and the buttocks. Um, best in the belly, and we would take the belly, we can either pinch or we can leave it flat, and we're going to go straight in. And then we're going to inject the insulin pull that needle out and hold firm pressure with a clean Kleenex um, to prevent any bleeding or black and bluing. And so the way we're going to treat diabetes with insulin is having vial of insulin, some type of insulin delivery system, whether it be a pen or a syringe, and then we're going to inject that insulin into our body. Typically we're going to have um, one or two types of insulin um, to have an uh, intensive insulin therapy.